high above the Similkameen Valley, near Headley, BC, hanging off the side of the mountain, is a hundred-year-old mine site. There are not many mines left like this in the world, and the fact it still exists is incredible. Why was this feat of engineering built there? Gold. There's gold in them thar hills. Several gold rushes have played a large part in the development of this province by bringing European and Chinese settlement. The mascot gold mine was in operation from 1936 to 1949, and in that short time produced over $300 million worth of gold. Deteriorating since the mine's closure, the buildings were a safety hazard, and the government was going to burn the place down in the 1990s. The then Minister of Tourism, Bill Barley, stepped in and in 1995, the site was preserved as a provincial heritage resource. This is insane! The views from this place? This is your place of work. You'd come up the side of a mountain to hang off a cliff and then enter the mountain and mine. This is absolutely nuts! It's so steep! This is the kitchen. Some old rusty sinks. Whoa, there's a big hole. Big stove vent. We're about a kilometer above the town of Headley, and I can't imagine taking a tram from the town up to this mine site. It'd be a commute second to none. It was at a 40 degree angle, so like almost 45, going straight up to the mine. And uh, what a mode of transportation to get to work. It would have been an absolutely beautiful way to get up and down the mountain, just suspended by cables hanging in the air. So I'm now going in the mascot mine main portal, underground and into the mountain. The air is smelling nice and dank. They have lights on the ceiling for the mine tours. It looks like a water pipe on my, above my head. Just walking in a straight line so far, the mine is almost perfectly straight into the mountain. It goes for about a kilometer. That's cool. Ice stalagmites growing up from the bottom, from the drips off the ceiling of the mine. And they look like crystal sculptures on the floor. Where are we? We're in a mine. Good girl. We're in a mine. I just came out another side of the mountain. We went in the hole on the other side and I've just come out another uh, portal to the mine. Mine tours were run by the Upper Similkameen Indian Band, but they closed in 2017 and haven't opened since. They even had plans to turn the bunkhouse into a B&B &B so tourists could stay overnight. But I don't know what the future holds for Mascot. The state of those stairs. Nope, <laughs> not gonna. The increasingly hot, dry, wildfire-filled summers of the interior pose a real threat. And all it would take is one lightning strike to turn the timber structures into smoke. <laughs> 